What's going on YouTube? This is Ryba back at the bench and today I've got a, I don't know, head to head or ramble video. Uh, something a little bit different. Uh, obviously if you're used to watching my videos, you're used to seeing knives and watches and uh, pins and flashlights and that kind of stuff. Um, but I have, I have kind of always wanted to get into at least a little bit of other types of gear, uh, shoes being a big one, leather, leather shoes for the most part, maybe bags, uh, some other things. So maybe this will be the gateway for me into some of that. But, um, I had a little, uh, situation recently that, um, kind of made me end up with these three on the bench or in the house. And I thought it was a good opportunity to kind of put them side by side and at least talk a little bit about it just in case um, it was helpful for anyone. So if you don't know what you're looking at, these are all Clarks. Uh, these are all generally commonly referred to as Wallabies, although they're not all technically Wallabies. Um, but just something about this shoe, uh, this general shoe style and brand for a minute. Um, so first of all, I, I like nice shoes, uh, good, you know, welted shoes. I have uh, Allen Edmonds as my preferred brand, uh, and I have several pair of Allen Edmonds that I've worn for many, many years, uh, and I love those shoes. Um, but my actual, um, maybe not quite daily, but my go-to casual to semi-professional leather shoe is the Wallaby. And I have been wearing some version of the Clark Wallaby for uh, 15 years or more. Uh, I wore these all through college um, and, and and through 10 years and in, in, um, of a career after that. Uh, and and they are a less dressy style shoe, obviously, but a fantastic fall, winter, early spring shoe. Uh, they can be dressed up, dressed down. Wear these with jeans a lot. Uh, you can wear them with khakis. They're just to me a very comfortable. Uh, incredibly um, adaptable shoe to different climates, to different uh, situations. And I just, I really like them. Now, they are not without controversy because many people look at this shoe and I'll go ahead and flip this to the profile. Um, and they think this is one of the ugliest shoes ever made. I get it. Uh, I don't happen to think that, but I certainly uh, can understand that. So if it's not for you, just keep on watching, or, or I guess keep scrolling, keep moving, keep, I don't know, click on something on the side. I don't know. Um, but if you do like this shoe, I thought maybe this video would be uh, helpful. So uh, these are three different types of Clarks. So this one here, obviously, as you can tell, is the old oldest one. Uh, these two are brand new. So this here is, uh, has been my, my go-to Clark for the last 10 plus years. This shoe, believe it or not, is uh, over 10 years old. And I have worn this more than any other uh, pair of shoes uh, that I probably have ever owned. I have just really, really worn this shoe and it looks fantastic. Um, it has never been, you know, I've, I've done some, some basic care over the years, uh, really nothing more than cleaning up and uh, oiling the upper. Uh, but uh, that is that is it. Now this, I don't think I said, this is called the Clark Stinson. Uh, and I actually didn't know it was called the Stinson until recently when I discovered something about the sole and I was doing a little bit of research. I don't remember when I bought these. They may have been a Christmas gift or something. But um, before I owned this pair, I wore a pair of Clark Original uh, Wallabies in the suede version like this. And I wore those for probably 10 years before that, maybe not quite 10. Um, and then I got these. And uh, this has just a fantastic uh, upper. Now it's nice and broken in and uh, just really, really nice, super comfortable. The upper has worn really, really well. I don't see any kind of rips or tears or anything like that held together really, really solid, solidly. Um, but what makes this uh, Clark model, the Stinson, a little bit different from your typical Clark Wallabies, because otherwise they look pretty much identical, um, is the sole. And this was something that I was not aware of until recently, uh, but I started to notice that the shoes weren't as comfortable and I was wearing through the sole. So you can see here this pretty interesting pattern here, and this rubber right here is super, super thin, um, to the point I think it's starting to crack. 
And so I was looking to see if these could be resold. And what I found was basically um, a lot of shoe um, cobblers are not resoling wallabies because the crepe bottoms are difficult to find. They're very difficult to get off of here. Uh, just not really worth their time. Um, but I did notice something. Let me see if I can easily see it on this shoe or if it's on the other one. Yeah, it's gonna be on the other pair I have or the other shoe um, that I wanted to show. Uh, so this Stinson has a, a little bit of a higher sole than the typical crepe sole. This one obviously is worn down quite a bit. You can see uh, this line going back to the heel. So maybe tells you a little bit about how I walk. Um, but what was interesting is that when I pulled this up, you can see this rubber sole here. I don't think it's crepe rubber, but because um, it, it definitely feels harder. Um, but it's got that interesting kind of studded pattern there. Um, and you can see kind of how that lines up right there. You can see it's wearing so thin, you can kind of see uh, the lines there and where that is worn away. But after 10 years, it actually still has some of the original kind of traction and or pattern there. Um, so anyway, uh, I thought this was very interesting just because I assumed all of these style shoes had the same like fully crepe thick rubber um, sole, but that is not true on the Stinson. And I was heartbroken because uh, I couldn't really um, resole these. Uh, I may, I, I really haven't uh, been able to get rid of these because the upper is just so nice. It's in such good condition. I don't think they can be resold anyway because of this uh, particular type of, I think maybe I could pay enough to get one of these resold if I needed to. I don't think this one can be, uh, but I haven't been able to get rid of them because uh, it's just broken in. It's so nice. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out something I can do with the upper if I'm not able to get them resold. Um, but anyway, this is the Stenson, great shoe. I will say uh, it is a harder sole and I did not find this sole quite as comfortable as the original crepe sole that I had on my uh, first pair uh, that was similar to this. So between the, the two of these, um, I would go probably with this type of sole. Now, I'm gonna move this out of the picture uh, and show this. So I, I picked up two new pair of Wallabies this time, uh, but two different ones. So this is, something newer this is i think they call it the evo wallaby or i'm sorry maybe the um i'll have it in the description in the title but the uh the shaker or shocker uh s-h-a-c-r-e um, and this seems to be basically a wallaby but uh, much cheaper than the originals and so there's some blog posts out there that kind of conjecture about what the differences are they don't disclose that. I have looked, uh, I have not been able to find anywhere where they really explain um, what the uh, Wallaby Evo is or the uh, Shaker and kind of how they are, um, how they are different. Um, but uh, this then is the actual Clark's original, much more expensive. Um, and uh, again, you're kind of left to wonder on what the differences are. Um, so I wanted to just show them on the same screen just so you can see. Um, it's going to be a little bit difficult to tell what the differences are because I do have them in two different um, uh, leathers. So I have a suede here. I think this is the dark sand suede. And then this is the beeswax uh, leather, which is the same um, that this is marketed under. So actually, let me put these both on the screen at the same time first and just kind of show off, assuming it's the same leather, it may be a little bit different variety, but they're calling this the same color. Uh, this is what it looks like after it has been well worn in. This is what it looks like brand new. Um, you can see, I'm just gonna make some marks on here. Um, this has not been beat up at all. I've only worn these a couple times so far, so these are pretty much new um, out of the package. Um, you can see they've changed up on the uh, these less expensive versions, you have this sewn tag right here. You don't have the Clark's original um, tag, uh, but otherwise pretty similar. Uh, now, the one thing that you'll notice, and I'm not a huge fan of this on this version, is that, uh, so the Stinson has a somewhat squared off, uh, and some of this is aged too, but somewhat squared off toe box, uh, whereas this newer shaker or shocker or whatever you call this, um, has more of a narrow, comes to a little bit more of a point, and it is more pronounced when you put it up next to the Clark's original Wallabies. 
um, which has a less square, less pointed, not quite as thin toe box. And when you have these on the feet looking down, this is definitely the preferred one. Just looks a lot better, doesn't feel quite as long, I think a little bit more comfortable. Um, and so that is a major difference between the Clark's original Wallabies and I think even the Evo Wallabies and uh, the less expensive Shaker. I'm just going to call it Shaker and I am probably pronouncing that wrong, um, but that's what I'm going to call it. The other difference, I believe, is that on this one you have a different type of, I think, removable sole. Yeah, so that just pops in there. Uh, these are called Extreme Comfort. Um, and uh, honestly, I think this is a huge upgrade over what was in my Stinson's, which uh, was just a very thin, almost like paper type sole that I took out almost immediately. I think you saw it just now. Actually, I can probably show it off because I did put it back in, but I wore it like that for maybe a year or two, um, maybe a little bit longer than that. And I took it out because it was very uncomfortable for a few reasons. One, uh, very, very thin. And two, it has this stitch line going up here. So I took it out. I really never wore it uh, with those in it. I had, um, had aftermarket insoles. Um, so that is a, a big uh, upgrade, uh, especially for the price point. And I have found these to be pretty comfortable. Not super thick, uh, but definitely more comfortable than the old ones. Uh, but you see, you get that uh, maybe cheaper looking, but comfortable uh, insole in the uh, less expensive version. And then on the Clark uh, Wallabies, the original Wallabies here, uh, you have more of a leather style sole that is glued in there. Let's see if that's actual leather. I think it's just foam with kind of a leather cover, um, but it looks a little bit more of kind of an upscale insole and it is glued in so you can't just remove it. Um, honestly, between them, I, I might prefer that one, but uh, time will tell. Um, so those are two differences. Toe box, the insoles you get, um, there's a couple other things. It seems like the crepe sole is actually different as well. You can just visually see uh, this one is darker, um, has more of a pattern. This one is a little bit more subtle. Um, I haven't noticed a huge difference in the wear of either of these. I think they're about the same thickness. I think style-wise, I prefer the one on the, the uh, originals over here to this. This is a little bit too pronounced. Uh, but I think they both look good and both uh, do about the same thing. The one thing uh, that I did not mention before, and I'm just going to keep kind of cutting back and forth between these as I think of things. One advantage of the Stinson sole, uh, you know, really both of these are probably going to be slippery in the rain. You need to be careful. They're not really uh, great rain shoes because uh, they don't have a whole lot of traction. Uh, the crepe soles do get pretty sticky over time. Uh, they're going to get kind of get gummy. Um, if you think about uh, what the material is, whereas this one uh, just re remained pretty hard. Um, the, the suede wallabies I had before were pretty sticky and gummy, um, but very, very comfortable. These less comfortable, but they're going to remain harder, not as sticky, still pretty slick. Um, so you want to be careful, uh, but that is one difference between the soles on those. Um, the soles on these I would expect to be the exact same and, and probably wear the exact same. Um, it's just unfortunate that you can't really resole them um, or that people aren't doing it because 100% uh, these soles are going to run down. It's a soft material. Um, the uh, Clarks has really impressed me over the years. And again, I've, I've had many different pair. I've worn them for, for many years. Uh, they've impressed me with the uppers, which I think for the price point are fantastic and they wear very, very well. Um, and so it's just a shame that you can't really break in an upper over the years and then uh, have it resold. Uh, if I keep saying that and you're screaming at me, yes, you can, yes, you can, please drop me a comment because I would love to hear more about where I can send mine off uh, to be resold. But I've contacted Clark's, they won't do it. And I've looked at some, some shoe cobblers and they won't do it. Um, so I've uh, so far been out of luck. Um, overall, if you are thinking about getting either a leather or a suede leather, I uh, do have a couple, um, couple thoughts there as well. First of all, the suede version, this shoe right here, this specific one, and, and really the one I had before that, probably 10, 15 years ago, uh, this will probably be the most comfortable shoe you ever put on. I mean, it feels like a full moccasin. Um, that suede is so pliable and almost broken in uh, feeling right out of the box. Um, you can see that interior lining, just really, really soft. A little bit difficult to get on because uh, you can see just the friction is, is kind of, um, you know, it's suede, right? So, so you've got a little bit of texture there. 
um, but super, super comfortable. I mean, this is probably the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn. Um, and for that reason, I just keep going back to this one. And I also think it just looks good with, with all kind of different uh, clothes. Um, however, the issue with suede, as you can as you can maybe guess, is that it's going to stain and show wear quicker. Uh, maybe not quicker, but it's going to show wear um, and not appear as clean as these over time. Again, if you look at my Stinsons, which have pretty much the same upper as these, uh, these look fantastic. If you were to oil these up, I mean, these look almost brand new. Uh, really, really good leather, and they're going to wear really, really nice. The issue on my previous uh, version of the suede uh, Clarks here is that, um, you know, if you drop something on them, it could very easily stain and suede is just notoriously difficult to clean. Um, so you're going to have to do some more maintenance on these. Now you can do suede protector, which I have done and I need to protect these. I have not sprayed these down yet. Um, and that certainly will help repel, repel water, repel uh, liquids or, or you spill your coffee or whatever. Um, but that will have to be reapplied over the years and you have to be pretty, um, uh, pretty aggressive or uh, active about uh, doing that or else you could uh, have some issues. Um, so not a huge issue, but just something to keep in mind is that these will require more maintenance uh, to not show the wear, uh, unlike these, which really don't require uh, much maintenance at all. These will be kind of scuffed up and you can see it's, it's going to show wear. But I think it adds character and it looks really good and you're really not going to have to do a lot to maintain these. Sure, you can oil them up and, and do whatever, but other than that, you're not really going to have to do anything with these. Um, so overall, I think uh, the leather is probably the way to go if you're just having one pair um, because they will just be the easiest shoe to maintain and to wear and really not have to worry about it. If you look at this shoe, uh, I'm trying to think of all the different things I've done in this shoe. I've done <laughs> quite literal construction projects where I'm crawling on the ground and, and um, uh, doing framing work and all kind of stuff, which these are not made for that. Don't do that. Not wise, but uh, in the situation I was in, it was not an issue. So, I mean, these things have been dragged along the ground, scuffed up. Uh, I've spray painted these by accident. I've done all kinds of stuff. Um, and yet they have just held up beautifully. Um, so, uh, so if you're wondering kind of which one to get just for an easy life, I would suggest uh, the leather. But if you're looking for a comfortable shoe, you cannot beat this. This will be, again, I think the most comfortable shoe you probably wear. And I think it looks the best. It has the best profile. It's that classic Clark's Wall Clark Wallabies um, with that nice uh, toe box. It's a little bit shorter. Um, and it just, I think overall just looks phenomenal. I mean, that is a shoe you just want to put on. Anyway, I don't know if this has been interesting to you or not. Feel free to drop me a comment. This is not my usual type of thing, but I am a big uh, Wallaby fan in general. And when I had these all uh, at the house, I thought a video might be kind of fun. So let me know if you liked it, if I should do more of this kind of thing or not. Um, but anyway, until next time, I will see you later.